Oh hey Vangabonders! On today's episode you'll see us assemble this lovely engine here. It took about six hours roughly, but uh, I think it's coming together really nice. Who's this girl? Why does this thing just poop on me? <laughs> <laughs> Any day now, Tiger. So the first thing we decided to do was hone the cylinders. And thanks to Clifford, we had the tools to do so. As you can see, my technique is flawless, and the cylinders came out <laughs> flawless. flawless. Then we put new piston rings on the pistons. Now, I don't know if you saw last episode, but these pistons were extremely dirty and it took quite a while to get all the carbon off. Then we compressed the piston rings and uh, Jack went ahead with his uh, wooden hammer and hammered it in. He hammered it. Next thing we did was use Prime Seal Aviation Gasket Sealant and uh, sealed the gasket that goes between the cylinder and the block. Next thing was hammering in the wrist pin. So this here is a little technique we learned from Ragamuffin Garage, pretty much using half inch PVC pipes to hold the cylinders next to the block. Pretty good for uh, rotating the engine without having the cylinders pop out, like you say? Yeah, it is pretty good for that. That's actually exactly what it's for. We rotated the engine and saw, hey, it rotates pretty good. Next thing we did was put the cylinder head gaskets. And uh, some people say don't use these anymore, but I had to use it. So please, uh, if you need to complain, complain in the comments below. Or don't. Or don't. We're, we're, we get kind of sad. Then we torqued the heads down. And as you can see, we used them old school torque wrench. Gotta keep it old. Gotta keep it old. And that's the beautiful engine block of the whole Oh, you see that dude? Wow. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, yeah, then Jack <laughs> oh had to God. act like a chicken for a little bit. <laughs> now this is also aviation sealant we used uh, to make sure we sealed that oil pump so we wouldn't have leaks. I'm pretty sure Chris used this on about everything. Yeah, I even used it to seal my eyelids shut at night so I could sleep better. Damn life. And then we put the oil filter attachment thingy, whatever it's called, and the crankcase inspection hole. We put a new gasket on that too. New gaskets all around. So you can sleep easy knowing, yeah, it still leaks, but uh, I think it leaked less than it did before. Make sure you just, you know, put that uh, aviation sealant on everything. Make sure we can fly like an eagle. Yeah, I think we're gonna put this engine in a plane. One day. One day. And uh, make sure you put that lower tin on. It's called the heat deflected tin. And if not, I just made that up, but it's important. Now, I know some people might complain about putting uh, this sealant on this stuff too, but uh, I put that on everything. I even put it in my sandwiches. Mm, sandwiches. I'm pretty hungry. Now, what I'm doing here is priming the push rod, AKA, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sucking up oil and putting the push rod in. And then the good old rocker assembly goes in. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Make sure to keep your hands clean through this whole process. And make sure to torque those down to the appropriate torque spec. Check your manuals. Ah, rotation of an engine. Oh, where's the fuel cylinder cable? Yeah. It's a break. Break time. Yeah, this is from the breather holes, and now we're getting cancer slowly. Then we scrub a dub dub the tins, 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 and I was very sad because it made my skin so dry, I think half of my layers of skin came off. Make sure to clean that fan shroud on the inside and out for good airflow. Then we put the tins back on, and look how new they look. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm not even kidding myself. Then finally, we got Jack to do something besides stand around and eat muffins all day. Hey, they yeah. shouldn't know that. They shouldn't know that, you're right. And I got behind the camera. Ooh. Oh yeah. And recorded him putting the carburetor on. Chris finally put the fan shred on after due cleaning, huh? Yeah, that thing's clean. I would eat off of it. Van life. Van life. <laughs> Livable. 
Then we had our friend Mallory, who happens to be an alternator expert. Really? Take the alternator off. <laughs> Take the alternator off the old fan shot so that we could then put it on the new end. Because this alternator came off of a 1978 model, as our alternator came off the 1973 and had a nice squeak. Tell them how squeak went. <laughs> Sounded exactly like that. And then we put the 1978 alternator on the... Hey, look, it's Frankie. He came to visit. And uh, we put the 1978 alternator on with a good belt. Then we had the good old Mallory install the dizzy. Dizzy? Dizzy. Dizzy. And uh, we tightened that thing down to uh, about... Check your manual. Check your manual. So it's the moment you've all been waiting for. We finally have a 2.0 with hydraulic lifters. Put a coil on her. Tune the engine. <laughs> then we annealed the exhaust gaskets. Now if you're wondering what this is for, it's important. It's so that they'll squish between... You gotta hear that noise. Squish between the exhaust and the head so you won't have any leaks. Because leaks... Do not... Do not do good. On our engine. On our engine. And then we use the wooden hammer again, which is actually just a piece of 2x4 because for some reason we don't have hammers in this garage. Everything's on a budget. Hey, that's when I got stung by a wasp and I was sold them for three days and looked like I had a bear claw. Good times. Good times. I thought the engine was going to fall there. Hey, look, it's me. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the real 2.0 with hydraulic oh, We lied again. And then it became time to reinstall the engine. Let me tell you, taking out the engine, cake. Putting back the engine, also cake. He ain't lying, except for the fact that the engine got stuck on the input shaft and was hanging on the input shaft, I so I don't know did. if we'll ever be able to drive this bus again. I never said cake was easy to make. <laughs> and then once we got it all buttoned up, it was time to try to crank her over. And if you want to see if she cranks over, make sure to check the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! If you liked that video, make sure to hit the like button below. And we're about to reach 5,000 subscribers, so stay tuned with the channel and subscribe. We're going to be posting lots of videos, and we're going on a trip across the United States in this thing. Stay connected with us on social media. We have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, Thanks for, Thanks watching. for watching. Ninja. Is it comedy?